Hello and welcome back Crash Nation. Here we are finishing off the rest of the AHL playoffs. The Calder Cup Finals. As the Burnaby Aces take a 2-0 lead here in Game 1. Second period, Rockford cuts lead in half. Third period, they tie it up. Ryan Stanton, then Dylan McLaughlin. My goodness. What a breakthrough and disappointing third period for the Burnaby Club. Can they come back? Power play. And Brett Connolly. But with one second left, Burnaby makes a fight for it. And drop game one. Four to three. Unfortunate there. All right, game two. Can we even this series or go down 0-2? 2 nothing Rockford early on. We cut the lead in half. Josh Hosing. Power play for Burnaby. But Tepley on Primo. Then Kishayev on Copley. Might come on back from Oh, and Osbov on Primo. Primo's just having a rough, a rough start to this finals. Rockford's goalie, Topley's definitely been the better goalie. And we dropped the first two games of this series at home to go to Rockford. 0-2. Not ideal. To say the least. Uh, Patan, injured knee. Well, we got someone to replace him. Okay. Who is going to replace him? Put Hossein up there. Then we do Brooks. Uh, yeah, that'd be Eric in third. Yeah, we're fine with that. We'll do that. Okay. Let's get it. Game three, first period, up two to one early. The Russians doing workforce. Second period, tied at two. Only 11 shots so far. Come on, not the efficiency you want to see. Barat on Primo. Rafferty ties it back up. And Brett Connolly on Primo again. Oh my God. Goodness, but Josh Hosein on Felix Topley that will tie it up. We have some fight left in us. Overtime, here we go. Power play. Can we do something with it? Power play again. Oh, come on. Someone do something, please. Magic. Anyone have anything left in the tank? Oh, in a second overtime we go. Okay, here we come on. Power play for Rockford. No, <laughs> and they have a three nothing series lead. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? It's not over till it's over. It's gonna be a heck of a comeback. A heck of a comeback indeed. All right. Fourth line. New fourth line here. Okay, let's go. Give me a head of a comeback. Let's get it. First period. We're up one nothing early. Josh Hosein on Copley. Second period. Tied at one. Come on. Who wants it more? Rockford or Burnaby? Who is going to come away with that magic clutch factor here. It's both goalies having themselves a heck of a game. An elimination game. We're going in overtime once again. But in overtime, in the elimination game. You know what? I think we're going to have to just jump into this and see for ourselves the live action of this rink. 
I don't know why, but never let me edit my AHL team for some reason. So, you know, NHL 22 was better for that. EA Sports kind of went downhill there a bit, people. And uh, you have the NHL Stanley Cup playoff logo on your jersey, not the AHL. Just details. Details, EA Sports. Details that you just don't do. But here we are. Overtime. Next goal wins. Tied at one. Burnaby Hosang trying to carry it in. Gets checked. Rockford retrieves it. With ice offensive pressure. Chance to get the puck back and just can't do it. Looking. Oh, a one timer just misses the net for Rockford. Between the legs pass. Goes off the pad. And Rock Burnaby trying to carry a patch in. Boris Kachuk for Rockford. Going wide, trying to make something happen. Gets around a defender. Two Connolly stopped by Primo. Four check by Rockford. Turns the puck over. Burnaby retrieves it. Chayev up to Hossein. Gets bow checked. Drops it back. Shot is blocked. Loose puck paddle. No one can retrieve it. Rockford trying to break out, and they do. Only get to center ice. Burnaby breaks it up. Horses it back in Rockford's zone. So far, only one shot on net in overtime. Five minutes in. Rockford trying to carry it in. Jalen Addison. Forces a turnover, but turns it over himself. Jake Neighbors trying to carry it wide. Going wide. And he gets po checked before he can finish off his deke to Brooks. And they'll call it a shot, even though it's more of a pass. But Rockford. And they end up icing it seven minutes in overtime. Still tied. Man, oh man. Can we survive this? Doesn't look like we have much control, really. But there's the best chance of overtime off the faceoff. But Felix Copley stops it. Here we are, people. Face off another win. Back to the defense. Wallman. Chromiak stopped by Copley. Chopchenko. Trying to do it himself. Oh, and the puck just rolls to Topley. Nice offensive pressure from the third line there from the kids. Let's see if we can get it done here. Another face-off opportunity. Back-to-back -back wins for Hosang. Davies off the post. Off the post. Are you kidding me? I think we're cursed. Rockford carries it back the other way now. Shot, rebound. Not a problem. Back to Tom Burnaby. Hossein trying to cut in the middle. To try of Fisher. To try of stop by Copley. Back to the defense. To try of another stop by Copley. All of a sudden, we're all over Rockford. We just can't beat the goaltender or the post. Oh my goodness. And oh a face off loss. Oh but a huge turnover. Neighbors. He can't finish. That was a turnover among turnovers. And Copley shuts him down. Nice four check from Burnaby. Trying to force a turnover. But Depley cuts in. Hartman stopped by Primo. Halfway mark now of overtime. Wallman carrying it out up to neighbors. Beautiful pass to Joey Anderson. He cuts. Buster Brooks and stopped by Copley once again. One timer. Huge block. Section 10 blocked again. Huge play by the advancement. Neighbors trying to go around with speed. Throws it to the middle. 
Oh my goodness. Let's go, Burnaby. Alright, Pizzetta carrying it wide. Trying to cut through the middle. Huge defensive play by Rockford. Wiseman carrying it in up to Johnson. To Wiseman. Back to, can't even read his name. We'll be honest. But Rockford turns it over. Dump and chase team now for the fourth line. Trying to do something, keep it in. Nice four check. Uh, can't contain it. Back come Rockford, Wiseman. Gets poke checked and forces an offside. 17 minutes into overtime. A few close calls. No deciders yet, though. <laughs> the Ice Hogs looking to sweep and in the Calder Finals. Burnaby Aces looking to keep the series alive. Burnaby, Franson, takes a hit, gets the puck in. Stanton retrieves it in the corner, flips it over to his D partner. Getting pressured, looking for Stanton. Oh, and he gets hit, and the puck almost goes in. But Copley makes a save. Johnson comes in. Stopped by Primo. Huge glove stop there. Rockford forced a neutral zone turnover. Barrett to Stanton, looking for someone. He can't make anything happen. Chromiak carrying it up the middle, trying to go wide. Gets poke checked. Boris Kachuk from his own end up to Stanton. Carrying it wide. Gets poke checked. Gets a shot. And a rebound. Brett Connolly. The shot and the rebound. Rockford has swept Burnaby Aces. They are the Calder Cup champions. Almost a whole entire over period, overtime period. But man, they have done it. They have swept our farm team. Oh, what a disappointing way to end the playoffs. Lapierre and the rest of the youngsters feeling heartbreak for the first time. That's a in the Hamilton Tigers franchise family. Something to build off for these youngsters, though. They are going to know how to win. It's not every day you get to go to the Calder Cup, but hopefully this run will be what they need to help our NHL squad and prove that they know how to win. It's a little bit of a new animation for the Stanley Cup. Nothing major, but it's, a, it's something. So there you are. The Rockford Ice Hogs are your 2023 Calder Cup champs. Boris Kachuk raising the trophy high. A little pass off celebration here. My goodness. Four straight losses in overtime. That's just, can't believe it. We thought we had the better team. It jokes on us. Rockford Ice Hogs just dominate us and told the Cup Finals. Yep. There's a picture to immortalize it. Rockford Ice Hogs history. 43 to 38 the shots. Felix Copley. You kidding me? You should not beat Rockford Stoley. Not when it mattered. And draw Maple Leafs. They are up two games to one. Can they end Canada's curse and their own curse? Two games apiece now. Columbus Blue Jackets are up three games to two. Oh, going to Game 7. And the Toronto Maple Leafs have ended their curse. Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner have finally done it. The Toronto Maple Leafs, since 1967, they have won their very first Stanley Cup in over 50 years. And they've ended Canada's curse since 1993. 
the last time a Canadian team won the cup. Tampa Bay President's Trophy. Man, oh man. All right, it's Matthews, Thart Ross. Yeah, okay. And you won the heart. Adam Fox, James Norris, makes sense. Benary, Lady Bane, okay. Interesting. There we go. Our first hardware in franchise history goes to Shane Wright. Doing his thing. Austin Matthews wins the Don Smythe. Capo Jackson and with Zvezna. That's the biggest surprise I think I've ever seen. Trevor Vance, Reams Dyke, wins Bill Masterson, H. Parse, Jack Adams, Sidney Crosby, Zach. Okay, Austin Matthews, I had to be here. My goodness. He's going to ask for a payday in free agency next time. All right, so we have the NHL draft now to deal with. And the start of off-season year number two, the Montreal Canadiens have won the draft lottery. Islanders went from nine to two. Montreal seven to one. Seattle one to three. Oh my goodness! Isn't that something? Connor Bedard to go to the Canadiens. Andrew Ladd is finally retired. Philpia, Brian Little, Tyler Bozak, Ben Bishop, Jonas Enroth. Okay. Coach retirements, yeah, we don't have to worry about those. Players coming back as scouts or coaches. Uh, no, it's okay. We're not going to do a draft interview. It's kind of pointless, honestly. Bro Stouts edit the trade block. Well, yeah, we have some decisions to make on who is going to be with this franchise next year and who we got to get rid of for to help this team get better. Montreal, New York, and Kraken, one, two, three, eight. So we have 15 million in cap space right now. And clouds. With Tyler Bertuzzi, Burkowski is someone I think uh, we could get rid of. What can we get for him? Jack back strong. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of tempting offers for him. Except Vancouver. Vancouver's offers are awful. Uh, okay, what about defense? Is someone on defense we can trade? Think about getting rid of Tanev. And we do have Chernet there. He can take his place in the top four. And we have Harley and Addison coming up. I think that is something we're going to have to think about here. Jack Quinn. Jack Quinn might be something we might go after. Suzuki. Jack. Yeah. Broberg. Hmm. Okay. Well, now we know what's out there in the trade market for these two guys. I think... I think we might just have to do it. Uh, Peyton Krabs, she's 22, someone that would, if they want us to take Craig Anderson, uh, how about if we say, 
Give us a second round pick. No, eh? Uh, we can't. Doesn't hurt to ask. Okay. Think about moving Barkasty again. Let's see what we can get for him. Daniel Chita. Simic. Oh, and there you go. Connor Bedard. First overall pick to the Montreal Canadiens. Casty. Try and trade you again. Okay. Sample. Luke. I mean that that's a guy we're interested in for prospect for sure. Rick Rusty. Forsberg, uh, he's going to free agency. That is for sure. Nashville, we're going to take a look at here. Loot. Yeah. How about if we had a second round pick with that? Really? Still don't want to do that, eh? Okay, how about if we add the future third? Okay, they'll f they're fine with that. So we'll take a prospect and some cap relief, and they can get Andrew, Andre Barkasti. We can replace him in free agency. Chris Tanev. Now we're going to move, and I think... Jack Quinn is who we're going to be going after people. And tore up the AHL. And a defensive prospect. We're going to go ahead with that, people. Second move of the draft. Two prospects for Chris Tanev. A defensive prospect and a Potential scoring prospect. There you have it. Okay, what's our first round so far? Top five. Not too surprising. As we'll have our first pitch here. Let's see, look at who's been taking. No one that we really were looking at, so. Quentin Musty. So many we're thinking of, but Andrew Crystal is there. Ooh, that is tough, but you know what? Andrew Crystal, Connor Bedard's buddy, can't take Bedard, so we'll take Andrew Crystal. He's someone that should be a nice addition to our four group in two to three years. Andrew Crystal, welcome to the Hamilton Tigers. Hopefully it'd be a nice addition to this franchise. <laughs> Second round pitch. We got Nathan Drapo there. Uh left handed D Elite. Could be another Samuel Gerard for us. Possibly. The next pitch. In the second round coming up. We do have Nito Mytavich. Six foot two center. Four years ish. We got Ethan Hay. Hmm. That's a little tough. A little tough, a little tough. Second. 
Not really much there. So you know what? I think we are going to go with. Maya Tovic or Ethan Hay. Interesting. But no, nah, my topic. All right. So we got two centers and a defenseman so far. Third round pick now. We got the Russian available. We have Jackson Parsons, a future goaltender. Interesting, interesting, interesting. We'll give him a shot. The Akrapov. Hopefully he's not another brush bust. Our team Torilev. Another Russian. Hey, do we go with back to back Russians? Or do we go with the goaltender of the future? So a little small side. Only six one. But doesn't really look like there's also a lot out there right now. Five seven. That's really on the small side. There's no way you get into the NHL guy. I'm sorry. Jackson Parsons. He is tempted. I do say so. Uh, yeah, Jackson Parsons could be the future of the franchise in net for us here. We'll give him a shot. Fourth round. Uh, no, not seeing too much there. Nathan Pilling. Gord Ricci. Top six. It's a low, but I think we might go for him. There's also Vesilev. Six foot. Topi Maramaki. Interesting, interesting. But you know what? Yeah, we'll go with Ricci. Top six low. See if he can turn into something. All right, sixth round we go. Can we find a diamond in the rough? Alexander Grepeshkov. What about the, yeah. Dragon, fourth line potential forward with size for sixth round pick. Seventh round. Uh, Cam Squires, Aiden Morris. Cam Squires, eh? Yeah, we'll give you a shot. Could be a third line for us. And that will do it. That is your NHL entry drop, people. There's the new batch of prospects for your Hamilton Tigers. Looking like a bright future. Hopefully. We can show off the potential of this franchise. And we can advance past the first round next season. But until then, we will see what we have in next episode is who we can add <laughs> in free agency. And who we have to re-sign and who we're going to let go. But until then, this is Crash Course GM signing off. And wishing you guys a good week. Till then, cheers and happy holidays.